What's up everybody, it's Critical. I want to show the aftermath of a Kickstarter scam. Let me show you what happens when a Kickstarter goes wrong. Here's an old scam from three years ago called the Air Umbrella. I'll go ahead and play the campaign pitch. This Air Umbrella shelters you from the rain using a powerful stream of air. And it comes in three different versions with a fixed height of 30 centimeters. This is really all I need to play of this pile of shit. Basically, it's just a giant fan on a stick that repels rain by blasting it with air. It's a fucking horrendous idea that somehow got $100,000 in funding. It looks like one of those vibrating wands you see in porn videos where the actress stimulates her clit that way so it's ready for the pounding. But here, instead of preparing pussies for sex, it was preparing pussies to empty their wallets on a product that had no chance of ever being delivered. Now going to updates shows you that the last one was in 2016 where they said they're issuing refunds. This is two years after they failed to deliver the product. I don't believe they delivered even a fucking penny to anyone as evidenced by the comments. Now let's turn our attention to the evidence here where we can find the protagonist of this sad story, Michael, the superbacker. So not much is known about Michael Superbacker other than he is very upset that he didn't get his air umbrella or his refund. I went three years back to his first comment and we'll just go from there. I'm going to skip a few because there's a ton of comments from him. He very rarely went that long without commenting on here asking for a refund or updates on the project. So I'm just going to show enough to tell the sad story about what happens when a Kickstarter goes sour. Now this is where our story begins. It's January 9th, 2015. His first comment is innocent enough. It said a December delivery, January 9th, and I haven't received my umbrella yet. Are they already sent out? A slight bit of foreshadowing here for the events that are about to unfold on this Kickstarter scam. He kind of gets this stinky sniff of some asshole that, you know, I still haven't received it, and it said December. Uh, maybe the postal guy might have stolen it because it's so high-tech and cool. Hmm, did anyone else get it? Four months go by and Michael starts to get the itch for more knowledge on the air umbrella. What's going on, boys? Has human technology advanced far enough to bring to fruition this beautiful air umbrella idea? Looking for updates, but you don't go on these parts looking for updates I'm in the air umbrella unless you're trying to get yourself killed. A couple weeks later, we're introduced to our supporting character, Rahim. Remember this name, it won't be the last time you see him during this saga. Another, cam another scam on Kickstarter, he says. Looks like Kickstarter is full of fraudsters. How right you are, Rahim. Michael then asks for an update. How is the umbrella coming along? A question that will forever be unanswered since the creators tucked their dicks in their assholes and ran away. After six months of searching for updates, Michael finally reaches his breaking point, his limit, his boiling point, his coming point. This is the first time he demands a refund. In May, he tries again. Refund, please. May 17th, he just wants an update now. Fuck the refund, just give him some information. I would like an update, Kickstarter. You can't just sit around and do nothing. Air Umbrella and Kickstarter, this is unacceptable. Little does Michael know, Kickstarter doesn't give a fuck about anything on their website, and there is no quality control, nor is there any responsibility. Michael, you know what Kickstarter says when it sees something like that? Ha ha ha. And then it spits in your fucking mouth, because it's still, Kickstarter is still wiping their ass with a cut of the money you donated to a scam on their platform. Michael then says, After backing over 30 campaigns, I have never seen a project go silent. No updates, no comments, doesn't even sign into Kickstarter since 2014. Until now. I want an update, my umbrella, or a refund. Kickstarter, do something already. Michael Superbacker, I have to say, I just don't believe you here. If you truly have backed over 30 projects that have all delivered on time as promised the same project as pitched, then you should be playing the lottery weekly because you'd be a multi-millionaire and you can make your own fucking air umbrella that also sucks your dick while it's blocking the rain. Because the odds of you having backed 30 successful Kickstarter campaigns that all delivered on time as promised are about as low as the earth actually fucking being flat. It's impossible. Kickstarter has become known for the projects going silent, no updates, no refunds. It's just become known for giant fucking scams. It's incredibly rare to find projects that actually deliver as promised and on time. November 2nd, one full year after successful funding. Christ, they haven't even signed into Kickstarter in over a year. These guys are horseshit. If they contact you, tell them we all want a refund. He has now become the voice of the Air Umbrella enthusiast community. And they all want their fucking refund. Michael then talks about another scam crowdfunding project in which he finishes with an idea of his own here. 
With all these Kickstarter failures and frauds, I think I want to start my own Kickstarter to make a website for Kickstarters to blog, comment, chat, and I will go through each campaign, past, present, and future, to rate campaigns and see how many of a percentage actually have failed completely, failed to deliver a quality product as stated in the launch video. Also, rate companies that have great track records for producing amazing products. My $128 will not go in vain. He may not have been able to save his $128, but you can be damn sure he's going to avenge it. Friendships are formed over the common interest of receiving a refund. Raheem states, Michael, I want my money back. To which Michael responds, Raheem, I want my money back. Michael attempts to boost morale in the comments section, wishing everyone a Merry Christmas, and then asking, where is his air umbrella? It seems Santa Claus will not be delivering an air umbrella to him this year, next year, the year after, or any other Christmas. It's been over a year since successful funding of the Air Umbrella, and the season one of this Kickstarter anime is drawing to a close and we finally get a word from our supervillain of the season. They don't have much to offer other than the empty promise of refunds, which, don't mean to spoil anything, never came to the backers. In what was a truly cruel move from the supervillain Air Umbrella HQ logging in here, it gives all of the backers this false sense that they can communicate with them to receive their refund, all of which is just not possible with Air Umbrella. Michael went on to make about nine comments in the span of two weeks. I will just show you these three to illustrate the point that he was given false hope that perhaps Air Umbrella was working on the prototype in secret and wants pictures and updates of their progress in the last 15 months, unaware that they have done fuck all on the project. And it's truly just upsetting. In what was a truly shocking development in the Kickstarter anime, Season 2 began with a bang, with Air Umbrella coming out saying that they are going to be issuing refunds and have them all given to backers very soon. Unfortunately though, the anime doesn't end with refunds. This was also the last time the villain was ever heard from. Some say the villain died on this day, but me. I think this was truly the birth of the villain. Michael wastes no time letting it be known that he is ready to receive his refund of his $128 investment. The comment section erupts with people ready to get their refund and excited to finally wash their hands of this horrible scam they fell victim to. Keen suggests sending a private message to the creators to honor the refund, but they don't check private messages because they haven't logged in in years. So they take to the comments still. Michael then asks if anyone has received a refund, maybe they're just singling Michael out, but it turns out they don't hold a grudge against Michael Superbacker. Nobody has received a refund. As the months go on, more and more people start to abandon ship, realizing that asking for a refund is futile, and then it's just Michael and Raheem here, left waiting for their refund, constantly commenting asking for that refund to come. But unfortunately, that refund never comes. It's May 8th, 2016. Michael, I need my money back now. And he's not alone. Raheem is still side by side with his friend waiting for that refund. As we fast forward through 2016, we see Michael is unrelenting in his quest to get his $128 back. His persistence not rewarded throughout all of 2016. Season 2 winds down to a close and we enter Season 3 in 2017. And that is where we currently are now. Michael asking hello. 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 Is there anybody out there? His hello becomes much more aggressive. He wants somebody to respond. Hello. Hello again, a little more polite. He then points out it was funded nearly three years ago. He once again resorts to saying hello, hello, hello. And then it brings us to November 8th, 2017. When am I receiving my product? He's given up on the refund, but he's still holding on to the hope that that air umbrella is out there waiting for him somewhere, cold and alone. Raheem takes a different approach to getting his refund or his product. He then suggests murdering the scammers. I mean, I think scamming is absolutely horrible, and it's really hard to accept when you've been scammed. I've been there, especially when you know on RuneScape. Free armor trimming will get you every time when you're a young boy, and you never forget it. So I can understand the anger. Murdering these scammers... I mean, the world would be better off without them, yeah, I, I can agree with that, but I don't think that's going to help get his refund or get his product. But this concludes the story so far on the Air Umbrella Kickstarter story. That's it. And may Kickstarter give Michael his refund. Please, Kickstarter, give Michael his refund. Give the Air Umbrella backers their fucking refunds. They've waited long enough. That's it. See ya.